Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, welcome back. Uh, let's do another real-time uh, packet capturing of a DNS server uh, or DNM, DNS services. So domain name services. So think of it domain name services as being your uh, internet directory that converts, let's say, YouTube or any website name, let's say, for example, Amazon.com uh, to its IP address. So think of it like DNS is a service that is run by a computer to actually determine what does this Amazon.com maps to in terms of its IP address. So this is done through domain name services. Um, it's an application layer protocol. So let's capture some live packets using Wireshark and let's look at those packages. Uh, let's look at those packets. So for the first thing I need to do, I need to run, open up my Wireshark, which is right here. So once you open up your Wireshark, you will choose your interface. So for example, right now I'm using Wi-Fi. Uh, so I'm just going to double click on this. And it's going to start capturing all the packets. So this Wireshark is running at the background. So I'm just going to simply type Amazon.com and I'm going to hit enter. So what it will do, it will actually go to this particular website. It will open up this page while my uh, Wireshark is running in the background. So once my page is open, these are the packets that I have. So I'm just going to simply stop my packet capture. And here at the filter, I'm going to write DNS because I'm interested in knowing what are DNS packets. So the first thing that I will do, I will click here on DNS. And, and there are a lot of packets which are there. Because I was using Google Browser, I have some other tabs which are open. I'm going to go and I'm going to look for Amazon. And uh, so the way this works is this, that you will send a query. And you are, you, so this is the IP address of my, mo, uh, my, my uh, this is the IP address of my, uh, sorry, my computer, which is 192.168.1.107. It is sending a query to my router, which is 192.168.1.1. And based on this, I'm sending a QD, what is Amazon.com? And since uh, for human, it's easy to remember the names of the website rather than remembering the IP address, but computer networks and computer networks, computer only understand IP addresses. So it's actually a translation. So I'm sending a QD, what is Amazon.com? Which is, let's say, standard QD right here, uh, right here, right here. Okay, so I'm sending this QD from my, uh, from my uh, laptop to the router that I'm connected to. So this is a standard query. And these are the packet. Okay, so if you remember it, domain name system. So the way the packets are structured in Wireshark, think of it like this. This is like a down up approach. Instead of having top down approach, it's down up approach. You have domain name system, which is an application layer protocol. The next protocol that I have is transport layer protocol. In transport layer, we have two dominant protocol, UDP and TCP. So DNS is actually using UDP. And the reason it uses UDP because UDP is not a reliable protocol, which means it does not have a three-way handshake where you get a confirmation once you receive a packet. If the packet is okay, there is no error in the packet, you will receive a confirmation from the server, okay, with an acknowledge, acknowledgement packet. So UDP is just sim simply means you just keep sending me the information. It's the fastest protocol in transport layers. So DNS uses UDP. Then of course you have an IP, which is an internet, then you have link layer, and then this is basically just showing physical layer. So if I were to look at it here, domain name system, I am sending a standard query with a question. And the question is, what is actually, the question that I'm asking myself is, what is amazon.com? So the response in packet 1320, so I'm just gonna simply click on it. It sends me a response. Okay, so there was, was, was there was one question. I wanted to know what is Amazon.com, and this was my query. So I get different answers for it. I'll, I'll get authoritative name server. Okay, so I'll get this. So now what this is, is this, that some Amazon might have different names for it. Amazon might have, we know that it's Amazon.com, but Amazon can have different names. Like for example, s.amazon.com, uh, Class IN basically means just give me an IP address and there are some other names which are also associated with Amazon.com. So this is in terms of this. Uh, let's, let's try to go to another website real quick and let's run the packet again. I want to show you a couple more things. So let's continue without saving and let's go here and let's go to MIT 
dot edu because it gives me a lot of data um, um, uh, so so let's look at it okay here we go if I wanted to know what is MIT so if I were to look at this so this is the query that is being sent from my computer to my router that what is MIT so this is the this is the query and the response is right here in 178 now look at this so the question was what is, it, what is MIT I get two different answers for 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 that first thing is that web.mit.edu type is C name C name is canonical name which is also an alias so MIT that we are just simply typing www.mit.edu but it also has an alias which is www.mit.edu.edgekey.net it might have another alias even though we're typing simply mit.edu but it also has www.mit.edu.edgekey.net it also has another canonical name canonical c name means uh, a alias another name for it which is e9566.bscb akami edge.net and things like that so these are different answers associated uh, with uh, with the query that I normally send on the web when I'm asking when I'm typing a website so these are the packets which are being exchanged these are the packets which are being exchanged over the net before that web page even opens up so this is happening in, in like milliseconds that that your mit.edu is being translated to some IP address and that type of that much information is there so so, so I hope you like this small tutorial on 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 live uh, packets of DNS. If you have any questions, leave it in a comment section, uh, and 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 don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel.